All right, everyone, this is Norval Central coming back at you with another YouTube video. And I'm about 20 subscribers away from 2,000, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is completely free, um, and I will try to post daily content as I can on YouTube. I think it's very important to continue this content during recruiting season, during this important time of the year. Um, but let's go ahead and start off with Florida State's Junior Day event uh, coming out. Some of the most highly touted 24 and 25 prospects will be in attendance today for Tallahassee. And also, you have to really think about this is one guy that I think in terms of getting a new defensive backs coach in Patrick Sertan Sr., and they're trying to develop relationships with some of the defensive backs that they have. You got Akeem Dent that is also a senior, and then you got some other guys that could be leaving after this season. We'll kind of see how everything pans out with that. But on the top of the list, you got C.J. Hurd that's committed a four-star safety prospect. And then you also got a guy like Jordan Pride, who Coach Norville actually saw yesterday, actually came in with a helicopter, uh, did a lot of nice things for him. And it's good to see that Florida State is generating some relationships with him and going through that process, even though, you know, he's been a commit for quite some time. You want to keep all those guys in the fold, and I think that's very important, specifically at the defensive back position. Then you turn around and have a guy like Charles Lester, a five-star cornerback who I think is Florida State's top target in terms of defensive backs this year. Now, he is going to be at the Junior Day event uh, today, and I will think that Florida State does have a really, really good chance to land him. But, you know, there is some highly coveted teams that are going to be in the mix. I mean, Clemson just offered recently. You got Florida. You got Alabama. You, you know, you got Georgia and Ohio State. You got teams like that that are going to be in the mix regardless for Lester. Um, but I think Florida State has done a good job in building that longstanding relationship with him. And I think it's very important because Florida State, as as I've said before, with a new defensive backs coach, you have to develop those relationships with those guys. And I think that's very important going forward there. You got Tavoy Fagan, who's going to be visiting next weekend, Florida State, a Clemson commit. That's very interesting because Clemson, Clemson commits don't really visit other schools while they're committed to the program. It's kind of an un, unspoken rule that Dabo has had with some of the commits that have been on the program. It's very interesting to see that Florida State's gotten mixed with that one because I think that could be a guy that you can get at the safety position that's very, very talented out of the Tampa area. Then you got Fred Gaston, who I think is a very, very good prospect also from Ocala. I think that could be a guy that Florida State can go after as well. He's visited a couple of times on campus. I think that's a guy that they can generally get. You got Brandon Jacobs, who is going to be sitting there and visiting today. Jacob is a guy that Florida State is really, really intrigued by. Safety position, 6'2", 170 pounds. I think he can develop into something really, really special. But just overall, I think Florida State's got to kind of keep expanding their board at the safety and cornerback position because – you're always going to need cornerbacks and safeties, especially in the Florida State's 4-2-5 defensive scheme. And I think it's very important to continue to develop those relationships with those guys as we go through the summer and everything else before we get into the fall season as well. But I really appreciate everyone for the love and support on all of my videos. Like I said, be sure to like the video. Let's try to see if we can get it up to 50 likes if we can. Just a small, a small uh, easy goal there. Comment your thoughts on the video, who you think has probably got the best chance to come into Florida State as a defensive back recruit. And then also subscribe to the channel. Like I said, it's completely free. Uh, be sure to do so so I can continue to post this daily content and get my content out to those who enjoy recruiting and enjoy team news as well. But I really appreciate it, and I hope you all have a great rest of the day. And as always, go Gnomes!